So for a while, our number one user was Barry Manilow's drummer. Barry Manilow's drummer was like the rock star of our website. He happens to have this beautiful apartment across the street from uh, Carnegie Hall. It's an amazing place. And he rents the whole space out. It's on our website. And so when he goes on tour, he just books his room out. And he knows all the dates ahead of time. And the site has been like a huge success for him. He's hosted uh, well over a dozen people from all over Europe, um, all over the US. He's booked really cool apartment people. for the entire summer on our website. Yeah, he's completely booked out. And we'll get phone calls from him like right before he goes on stage. Yeah. He'll be like, thanks for that latest reservation. <laughs> One day he called me up from backstage. You hear the back, like, Barry, Barry. And like, he's calling me. He's like, Brian, this is amazing. I just like got your text message feature. It says, I, like, someone just booked my room and I made $1,000. Anyways, I gotta go on stage, but you guys are awesome. And I'm like, what the hell? So we, we like to say that Airbnb is the eBay of space. We allow people in over 1,050 cities and over 76 countries to list their extra space by the night, whether it's just a private air bed and a living room, a couch, it, maybe it's an entire apartment, maybe it's a water villa in Malaysia, an inn, a bed and breakfast. So it can be anything between couch surfing and a hotel. So the way we make money is we facilitate all transactions through our site. So if a traveler wants to book a room, just like you want to book a room on Expedia or another website, you put in your credit card information or your PayPal information, um, we take a 10% commission on top of the price of booking. And so that's the way we make money. We take a 10% transaction free fee off the front and um, we hold the money and then we pay out the traveler or the host once the traveler checks in. So you know we're approaching 25,000 users in um, over like 1,000, I think last count, 36 cities in uh, 76 countries. My name is Joe, I'm one of the co-founders of Airbnb. We are the eBay for space, and I'd love to show you how it works. Um, so this is our homepage, and um, you can see that we have a, actually a live count here on the front screen that shows our current number of cities and countries all around the world. Uh, we're currently in 1,041 cities and 76 countries. Uh, to the right, we have a slideshow that shows our top properties in cities like New York, uh, United Kingdom, Washington, D.C. So the way the site works is pretty much just like any travel site. I can search by city. So let's say I want to go to New York. I can put in my check-in, check-out dates if I wanted to. Um, I click search, and we have 721 listings in New York City. Say my budget's a little bit cheaper. I want to stay under $100 a night. Here's another listing. And these guys have been on our site since the very beginning. They're the Rad Brothers, and these guys have rented out this beautiful space. It's a private room um, on the Lower East Side. And they've actually started a company based on the money that they made through our website. So these guys have started a t-shirt company simply by renting this private bedroom in their apartment. And they have uh, 15 reviews to, to show for it. So it is an open platform and we are in a thousand cities around the world so uh, some of the other really interesting places would be for example a water villa in Malaysia that you can rent for only $190 per night. Um, these water villas are actually on the ocean um, and if I wanted to book it online I, I can do that and before this uh, it would be very difficult for me to find a variety of places all around the world in one condensed marketplace that I can book online. Um, here we have a castle in Spain. Um, this is a, a medieval ca castle that goes for $55 per night. Um, I can book it right online. So this is sort of like the guest process. When I'm ready to book, again, I just click the book it button. Um, we make it really easy to post a room on the site as well. It's a simple, it'll take you less than two minutes to put a room up. Um, very, very simple fields to fill out and you know, it's, it's a really, really easy way for people to just rent extra space they already have. This is the sales department slash Chris the Oracle's bedroom. So every morning at 8.30, Chris is sleeping and the sales guys just kind of walk in, wake him up and say, all right, got to get out, I got to work. He's got a really, like, great system. So this is how he takes notes on bunny notes. I think it's bunny ears. Bunny ears, so. The Ignore bunny... my horrible chicken scratches and Yeah, but I think handwriting. the bunny ears is, like, key to his method. Mm -hmm. The startup culture is amazing. One of the things that you know Paul Graham talks about is being relentlessly resourceful. I think that's kind of part of the culture of how this company started. I mean, 
<laughs> for instance, we started this business to like rent out the extra space we have. You know, we're still like doing this interview in like an apartment. I have my bedrooms like behind where this <laughs> us right now. So we're very resourceful. I think that's something that this company like is, is really trying to do. We're trying to be scrappy. Um, we also have a great roof deck, and uh, we have invited all our YC buddies up here a couple times. And had some great parties. Um, so it really is a, a versatile space for us. We live here, we work here, we have people over. Uh, we're going to try to stay here as long as possible because uh, it's a comfortable space, uh, it's affordable, uh, and uh, that's kind of the path we're taking to date. Yeah, I'm a smiling guy, a lot of connections, a lot of time spent on the phone, following up by email. Got to personalize, got to smile through your... Through, through In your fact, time. like so everyone here also has a theme song. Uh, and right. uh, his theme song is... Uh, it's Walking on Sunshine. I think one of the really unfortunate things about our company is it is just a fun company. The product's fun. If you ask somebody if you had all the money in the world, what would you do? A lot of people say, I travel. Well, luckily, like that's what we do. And it's kind of like this exotic idea. You can travel around the world. And we try to tap into that in our own environment. I mean, we have funny, like, kind of clocks on our wall at different times of day, and we try to, you know, also um, just really embrace, like, the uniqueness of everyone's, you know, culture in this office.